Welcome to Sydney. We are in Bondi Beach, Australia. Hello everyone, my name is Diamond Langi. And my name is Christian Fanini Schmidt or Crit. Hey people, Crit here with this week's MTV News Wrap Up. This is legitimately my cousin. This is his first interview, by the way. It is. All right, all right. Don't f this up. <laughs> And we are representing for all the Polynesians keeping it fresh here in Australia. Yes, today's all about Sydney. Diamond's holding it down on the runway and I'm gonna show you a bit of my hood, my work and everything fresh in between. So here's what's coming up. Taking care of fresh mama's birthday. Don't buy her flowers. What is this, huh? What am I, a cow? Dave, do you like Island Kills? I love Island Kills. Why on Women's Weekly never thought of you <laughs> and Island Kills? <laughs> Whenever I'm with you, I hear the angels in heaven sing on me. Protecting this love like a soldier at war. I got my guns out, rap up bum, watch out for me, boy. We're catching up with Crit later, but for now, we're saying goodbye to the sidewalk and hello to the catwalk. Checking out Pacific Fashion Runway Show, where I will be modeling. Hashtag Owa, hashtag Motolo, hashtag Talabo, hashtag Woo! <laughs> This is actually my first time um, walking, you know, with a huge Polynesian crowd here in Sydney. I've done it before in New Zealand, but this is my first time here in Sydney, so I'm nervous, but I'm so excited. Pacific Fashion Memory Show is all about showcasing talent from the Pacific from models, designers, and also entertainers. It's so good because it's our print here in Sydney to showcase and show everyone that we're here and we're ready. Keeping Keep it, it fresh. fresh. My participation this year is mainly to, um, to support our people, um, support our design, and hopefully to let the world see that Although we are a small nation, a small country, we can we still have a spot on the runway as well. A Pacific Island uh, fashion event, because there aren't that many. So many people come together to pull all these Pacific Islanders out. This is the biggest platform in Sydney that we know. We're here and we're getting ready to put on the dress on with Lena Kasparing and we're looking forward to it. I do ready to wear evening gowns and couture and a lot of party dresses for those girls that want to dress up and not look like kids. Um, I'm Aboriginal and I think it's important because I don't see a lot of Aboriginal girls out on the runway. I think that it's about um, bringing diversity into the modelling and fashion industry. So getting a lot more diverse girls out there and yeah, showing that we're beautiful. It's really big for all of us, like Polynesian kids that are, that are starting out. It's good for them to get some experience and see what like fashion industry is all about. The show means everything to me because culture is very dearly to my heart. Just being here and being a part of, you know, the first big um, fashion show here in Sydney for Pacific Islanders is so huge. So just to have this opportunity is great. <laughs> Next 
there you have it, Freshies, and that's a wrap of Pacific Broadway Fashion Show. Yeah. Oh, a one, two, three, let's go. Yeah, maybe not. I'll leave that to you, Diamond. Shout out to you and the crew for holding it down at the Pacific Runway Fashion Show. We here need some tips. I mean, especially me. Good thing Fresh is all about giving tips. Here's this week's Island Tips. And a welcome to the Islands Tip, a segment where we teach you a little few things in case you go to the islands. This week we're talking about how to aioli. In another way is how to be excited, go crazy when you see a beautiful woman. This being in the Simon culture is what's go back to the days of the Taupo or the princess. When she walk and she dancing, everybody looking to her. But you have to show the excitement and dancing and thing. In the Simon culture, when the lady dancing, the boy do all these things. He shout out the thing for the susu, and it sound like this, Jehu! And that's to tell everybody I like her. Another thing he do, he slap his body. Everywhere it's like a mosquito, he slap his lap. And then he dancing and jump around and clap his hand like that. And then another one, he invent the break dancing, he do a dolphin dive. He diving down to her feet so she can put one foot on top of his back. But be very careful because she might be a very, very big princess. Crush your back, take you to the chiropractor. <laughs> well, tune in next week for more Prainy Advices on the Island Tips. Thank you. Don't go away. There's a whole lot more to check out here in Sydney, like the world of Crit. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. This is legitimately my cousin. This is his first interview, by the way. It is. All right. All right. Don't f this up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, try not to. Smart. Arch. Smart. Hey, wanna play a game? Yeah. Okay. What's it? One plus one. Two. Oh, you're so smart. Yeah. Uh, how about who's Homer Simpson wife? Uh, I think it's smart. Yeah. Hey. Got it. Oh, when's my birthday? Uh, 26 March. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a smart phone. Hey. <laughs> Not as too smart. <laughs> The freshest thing about me is probably my hair. We're told growing up that it's not professional, you know, not as desirable, but I've decided to own it and it really worked out in my favor, especially when it came to um, auditioning for MTV, I think. Hey, what's up? My name's Crit. I'm a presenter for MTV and welcome to my world. You know, I come from Porirua and it's not the most resourceful you know, city um, in terms of opportunities and things like that. I work for a charity, trying to get more young people from backgrounds like mine into the creative industries. Welcome to MTV. I'm gonna show you around, so come follow me. Uh, this job brought me to Sydney. To be honest, like a long time ago, I vowed that I'd never move to Australia. <laughs> to get the MTV role, I had to enter a competition. I never had Instagram, so what you had to do was upload a video um, and say in 15 seconds why they should pick you. What's up, Katie? My name's Crick, and I would make a banging wingman because I can hook you up. You like Pharrell? I jam on stage with him. You like The Rock? I lift with him. Whatever you want, I've got you. Scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. So I did that. From there, they whittled like a thousand or so contestants down to 10, and then the top 10 had to go do a bunch of challenges live in a hotel. And yeah, I came out on top, which was crazy. Hey people, Crit here with this week's MTV News Wrap Up. What up people, you're tuned into the MTV Pop 20 for another round of ridiculousness with me and Kate. You reckon they're ready for this, Kate? I don't know, are you even ready for this, Crit? Bro, I was born ready. I love MTV because that's where I used to get all my dance moves from. Uh, and that's what I used to dance in the mirror to. <laughs> One of my favourite videos of all time. Well, actually, it is my favourite video of all time, would be Michael Jackson, Remember the Time. Uh, you know, it's set in Egypt, it's got Eddie Murphy, Iman, of course, the choreography with the, you know, doing the, and then they're going back and all that. That's, that's my jam, I love it. it. 
My family is Samoan. My dad comes from two villages, uh, Lotopai and Saputu, and my mum comes from Afenga and Siumu. Well, yeah, my mum's always been there for me, and yeah, she, um, she, she knows more about MTV than I do half the time. She'll be like, oh, have you seen that new video, boy? And I'm like, oh, mum, I'm gonna need you not to know about Nicki Minaj and what she's wearing and all that. But uh, yeah, she takes all of my stuff and then she complains about not having any room on her, you know, left on her drive. I'm like, oh, you can delete some, mum. Uh, but yeah, mum's very special to me and, and she's my biggest fan. The highlight of any part of my career has always been the people that you meet. I've got to interview some pretty cool people, uh, including my cousin, Dwayne Johnson. He was my first interview ever. That was wicked. Uh -oh. I'm sitting here with my beast of a cousin, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Love Hercules, saw it. Oh, hi. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> first of all, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. This is legitimately my cousin. This is his first interview, by the way. It's really helpful to have uh, mentors like my cousin Dwayne. Uh, he's He's really good in terms of sharing his experiences and the things that he's faced, um, walls that he's had to overcome. So I really appreciate, you know, having someone like him to draw upon experiences. In every job that's to be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap the job the game. And that was from Mary Poppins in the song, just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. So yeah, it's true though. You know, you, you make things fun and, you know, the jobs just don't seem as tough or overwhelming. Just a spoonful of sugar help the medicine go down. There we go. Pow! So, are you really The Rock's cousin or are you one of those ones. <laughs> well, can't you tell? I mean, the muscles and the, the <laughs> jawline and the good looks and the charm. So, if you really are related to him, is that us at the next family reunion? Well, let me see some of your cousins. I oh, got will... you. I got you if you got me. Okay, as long as there's no mustaches or that, then it will be good. Oh, oh. In Freshland, every freshie's related to every freshie. And um, you might be related to this next person coming up. <laughs> It's a gold, silver. Ah. Just give me the money. Taking care of Fresh Mama's birthday. Don't buy her flowers. What is this? Huh? What am I? A cow? Do I have to stand in the field and eat flowers? I can't eat a flower. Just give me the money. Perfume. Do I smell a sting to you? You should remember when your nappies was when you were a baby. That was the smell. <laughs> Don't buy her a holiday. Is that what you're doing so you can have a party in my house with all the coconut oil everywhere for the lubrication? A magazine subscription. A magazine subscription? Son! How am I supposed to do with a magazine? Wipe my bum? Those things aren't for me. They're for Palangi woman. A dog. Can I eat a dog? A Ferrari. You want me to see me squash onto that car? I can't get out. You're gonna have to ring the fire department to come and cut me out of that car. The jaws of death for your mother. Huh? Is that what you want? <laughs> Do buy her a lotto ticket. Yes, sir. Make sure you use the same numbers I give to you every week. Don't do the lucky dip. A new plate set. Oh, yes. We want the Royal Dalton, Princess Diana, Princess Giles from the 80s. Do buy her some jewellery. Oh, yes. Silver. Silver is beauty. Gold. I love gold. Rubies. What did they taste like? Topaz. <gasps> pearls. Diamonds. That's a girl's best friend. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. Titanium. Titanium. Uranium. Uranium. Yes. I love you, son. Good boy. All right, make sure you come back after the break because Auntie Tala seems to have snuck away back onto the fresh show. Yeah, and I'm really feeling that beard on her. Is that a Samoan thing? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh we're trying to play that game. Well, you know, if you want to talk about sideburns, then Tonga, you know, really got it going on there. So, yeah, let's get it. Take it away. Oh, you're going to make me have to take off my earrings. You better watch your back, Chris. <laughs> OK? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ciao, ciao, ciao. Where me and my famous friends get to help you with everyday issues. Like, how do you ask a girl whether she's a girl? How do you get dirt from under your toenails? Ah, hey, hey. Have you heard that new uh, weekend song, The Cosmo One? Uh, no. Hey, it's very popular. How's it go? It's like, 
I can feel my face when I'm with you, and I'm loving. Yeah, I've heard it, but not that version. The look on your face. Welcome back, Freshies. We're chilling here in sunny Sydney. I'm Crip. And I'm Diamond Langi. But before you guys head off to do your guys' Saturday morning chores, Auntie Tala has something to tell you. So fuck along along on my and check it out. Hello, honey, and fakalo flahayatu. Welcome back to another episode of Tao Tala Tala, where me and my famous friends get to help you with everyday issues. Like, how do you ask a girl whether she's a girl? How do you get dirt from under your toenails? How to not offend an island girl who's really fat, but not. <laughs> And we're really blessed because my panel's like Magic Mike. It's an old male panel. And starting with the man himself, Stephen Lutua. <laughs> and next on our panel, we've got my favorite singer of all time this evening. Please give it up for Darren Penepate. <laughs> Salamia. And next, we have someone who's so multi-talented and forever dancing on my face. Please give it up for Jordan Balikolo Krukshan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jordan. I forgot what you said. Anyway, with our new show, we actually send out a cameraman every week where you tell us what troubles are proper in you. And then we will try and solve all your problems. And this week's problem is jungle fever. Put your hands up if you know what jungle fever is. Steve, I'm sure you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's go to our video. Hi, Auntie Teller. Um, I just really need your help. I want to find me an island princess. Um, what do I need to do? Please help me, Auntie Teller. Wow, so... What do you think about what this young boy has just asked? Um, for starters, does he have a jungle appetite? Because if you don't, then you probably need to get one. Oh, yeah. Island Princess wow. likes her taro. So if you don't need taro at her house, then bad luck. <laughs> yeah, what do you reckon? So he dark. needs to have confidence. Yeah. Mm. You know, island girls love confidence. You have no confidence, they will tear you apart. Steve, do you like island girls? I love island girls. <laughs> love my mum's island, island girl, my but daughter's island girl, my sister's island girls. I love island girls. Why on Women's Weekly is never a photo of you and island girl? <laughs> No, but even on Snapchat, it's never Island Kill. <laughs> and on Instagram. And why are they always dancing in the middle of the stage? <laughs> 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 why are you always giving them $5 notes and things like that? <laughs> See, he needs... He needs jungle experience. Oh. If he's got the jungle fever, yeah. he needs the jungle experience. What's the experience he needs? Go heading out at Monaco Mall. Yeah. Go walk around. You learn how to evade people. Wow. You learn how to communicate. Yes. And then from there, it will give him the confidence to approach her. So, Jordan, being a dancer yourself, what are some, I guess, jungle moves or island moves that he can use on the dance floor to get an island kill? Wow. For, for, for our island woman, he definitely needs to learn the running man. Mm. Wow. Really, yeah. Got to be good at that one. Darren's good at the running man. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> when Friday, we love this happen, man. It's running oh, man. Let's wow. go. Wow, that's really nice. And I guess what I want to say to you, Ali, is first, after seeing your video, you need to eat some meat. Don't be vegetarian, because if you go to the Island Kills family and they give you meat, you don't eat it, you will fly out the door as soon as possible. So eat the meat, like Steve said, get your appetite. The other thing as well, make sure you've got a good job. You're either a minister or a lawyer, a doctor, or a solemio, <laughs> or, a, a, or a, a rugby player. <laughs> And you will be, you will go for you. The parents will love you, they will take you in, you will get them a tight title just like that, and you will be the king and the high chief of the family. So that's my only advice for you, Ali. Hopefully you will take it. If you don't, don't come back on ourselves. <laughs> hey, Diamond, I think the people at home want to get to know you a little bit better. All right. All right, so tell us, what are three places that you really want to visit in the world? Three places I've always wanted to go to was Jamaica, oh. South Africa, and Greece. Those three places, if I could go to, oh, it would be a dream. Nice. I've been to Jamaica, 
Okay. Yeah, I may have gone missing and I may have had missing. a SWAT team looking for me. Yeah. We won't get into that story. But, uh, uh, well, because you blend in with the people, you know, oh. so. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to check out this week's Polly Postcard. I'm Angela Tia Tia, and this is my Polly postcard from Sydney. Three of the freshest things that I love about Sydney is Bondi Beach, all the art galleries, and the food. It's not as good as Auckland, but it's good enough. And the diversity of food here too. So I've been here in Sydney for about three and a half years and trying to break into the Sydney art scene, which has been really rewarding so far. Just recently, I was one of 12 artists to be shortlisted for a major art prize called the New South Wales Visual Arts Fellowship, and it was a $30,000 prize. And so I've got my works exhibited in ArtSpace. The work that I have exhibited at ArtSpace for the fellowship is called Soft Power and it's seven days of performance. Me and my body just uh, having quite repetitive, absurd, silly gestures, working alongside amazing uh, Chinese male artists. I love freaking out the people of Sydney here with my afro. Uh, they seem to find it very challenging, which I find hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, but I love rocking my malu and just being an individual, being different, and being really proud of my culture and my heritage. Company. That's a wrap here in Sydney. Thank you for joining me and the beautiful Diamond Lungi. I mean, we love it here, but just between us, New Zealand's better. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week and do not miss the next episode. Get out on the freshies. We are the modern Māori Quartet here in beautiful Rarotonga. <laughs> Coming up next week, watch us perform for some of the locals. We like the way Rarotonga da da hula, da hula, da hula, da hula. And much, much more. Signing off from Sydney, off arts. And peace! Lonely night, each other's paradise. Need a picture for my frame. Someone to share my brain. Tell me what you want to drink. I'll tell you what I got in mind. Oh, I don't know your name. But I feel like that's gonna change. You ain't gotta. And I'm gonna show you better my hood, my work, and everything fresh in between. So let's check out what's on the next show. Where, where's the next show going? No, so let's check out what's on the, the show. <laughs> but before you guys head off to your Saturday morning chores, Auntie Tala has something to tell you, so fuck along along with my. Fesh, 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 fesh. Coming for you, Diamond. No, just kidding, I'm not. But, Diamond, thank you so much for holding it down at the Pacific Runway Fashion Show. I'm gonna need some tips and good thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one, right?